Right, we are doing highest common factor here. Sum of the four coits greatest common factor. So G C F or H C F. Um, it mainly depends on where you go. It's just like the reason, like the meaning of it is still the largest common factor. So whatever you call it, but usually they don't call it largest because that would be mix up with the LCM. So the highest common factor, if you're not sure about how to get the what is factor or what is the common factor you can get through to the other video of the factors video. Now, so we got the common factor. This is the listing method. Um, if we are bored, we can do the listing method. So the highest common factor of say 12 and 20. So the old method is to list them out. So the factor of 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 10. No, not 10. <laughs> 12, yes. All right. And then the factor of 20 will be 1, 2, 3, no, 4, 5, 10 and 20, if I'm not if I'm correct. Yes. So now we look for the highest one. The common factor is the one is the same, which we have gone through before. Now we look for the biggest one. So checking from 1 is the same, 2 is the same, 4 is the same. Any more? No. So 4 is our highest common factor. Uh, and this video we will also be going through a division method, a short division method. So what we're going to, be able to do is like 12 and 20, you can do a division here. But then because it's a common factor, it has to be dividable by all the numbers here. So we start with an even number, so with 2, 6 and 10. We can continue to do it. Now there's no, no, there's no number which is divided by dividable by both of them. So the HCF will be this side. So you imagine there's an H here. So 2 and 2. So therefore, HCF is 2 times 2, which is 4 here. Now let's try a three number common factor, see how it goes. So, yeah. So find the HCF of, say, 12, 16, and 30. All right, I'm not doing the listing now because it's a bit boring. So it's a long actually. So I'm going to do this division method now. So what I'm going to do is like I have 12, 16, 30. I need to find some numbers which are able to divide it by, uh, actually which could divide 12, 16, and 30 fully. Start with all even numbers, so let me try that. So 2 will be 6, 8, and 15. Then, although there's a 2, we can divide 6 and 8 by 2, but then it cannot be divided by 5. So i got to stop right there. Therefore, the HCF is only 2. So this is the difference between LCM and HCF. The LCM, we can just keep doing it. Even if there's two of them, it's dividable. But now, for HCF, this is the picky one, so we only take the two. Only the one which can be dividable by all of them. All of them. So this is the basic of HCF.